بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله it's very important for us to be content and be do our best to do righteous deeds and be content with the favors of Allah سبحانه وتعالى that He's bestowed upon us and seek forgiveness often. And watch how we treat one another and watch our speech. And Allah, the Prophet ﷺ has said in a hadith, Ruahu Bukhari and Muslim, he ﷺ said in this hadith of Ibn Abbas and Imran ibn Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhuma reported the Prophet ﷺ has said, I looked into Jannah. I looked into Jannah and I saw that most of his dwellers are the poor. And I looked into hell and saw that most of its inmates were women. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the Prophet sallallahu a little glimpse into the ghayb, into some affairs of the hereafter and the unseen. And when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what he observed, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he reported to his ummah. And amongst those things he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, observed was that the inhabitants, many of the inhabitants of the people of paradise, they were actually the poor, from the poor, because they were humble and they were content and they were, uh, you know, they had those challenges, but they still overcame them. Whereas the people of wealth who were distracted with, the, with their desires and with pomp and the collection of materialistic, uh, of, of material gain and wealth and position and power, that they were so concerned by that, they often, as is the sunnah to law, the people become arrogant and pomp pompous and they fail to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they spend most of their time collecting wealth and doing disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding remembering their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who they owe all of their blessings and favor to la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah so we see also that the Messenger وسلم, mentioned that most of the inhabitants of the hellfire were women. And some of the explainers of this tradition mention <coughs> that the reason this being is because there are many women who tend to be materialistic and who tend to be detracted and use their beauty and the desires and the deception of this world as a means of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of obedience to Him and not being content with their relationships with their husbands if they're married or not being content with the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so it's imperative that we understand these traditions in light of the book and the sunnah and that we don't take a distorted view and think that Islam has a slant or a bias or a prejudice against women. We need women. Women, uh, women can go to Jannah as men can go to Jannah. Women have fadl as men have fadl. However, the Prophet ﷺ observed, because as we see, if we were to look in many societies, we see that women, that amongst those who use, for example, their beauty as a weapon, is, is the women. As a weapon to get, to achieve, to attain, to destroy. And... Instead of reserving themselves and having the best of conduct and doing that which is 
pleasurable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's very important Allah, that we do our best to be obedient to Allah, to understand the book and the sunnah, to strive to be of the inhabitants of Jannah by doing righteous works, avoiding the Muharramat, and striving, striving your best to be content. Because we all become ungrateful, we become disobedient. You know, it depends on the level of Iman that you have, <clears throat> your faithfulness, and your realization that, that, that the bounties and favors are from Allah, and putting your trust and your tawakkal on Allah. But we become weak. So it's very important to remember that those bounties and favors are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who bestows those gra the, that His grace, mercy, and fadl upon you. And to appreciate what He has given you so that He will increase you is the characteristic of the mu'min. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who are content and to be of those who strive to attain His bounty in righteous, halal way. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم